So today is the day that I'm finally deciding to do my winter capsule wardrobe. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading a lot of blog posts, and scrolling a whole lot of Pinterest to get a sense of what I need to do to create my own winter capsule wardrobe. I already did my winter 10 by 10, and if you haven't seen that video and vlog, I'll link it here or down below for you to check that out. But basically, I didn't feel quite ready to empty out my wardrobe and go through all of my stuff and come up with a cohesive yet versatile capsule wardrobe quite yet, but now I feel ready. I did the winter 10 by 10. I think that small mini capsule wardrobe challenge really helped me sort of dip my toes and figure out my style, figure out how I'm going to choose items to curate my winter capsule wardrobe. And I think I'm gonna do a 40-ish piece capsule wardrobe. That's the size that I have in mind. I think 40 is a nice, even number that I feel I can live with and I'm going to give that a try now. So last year I really focused on my relationship with shopping and this year I really want to focus more on my relationship with the stuff that I already have. I have all four seasons sitting in my closet so whenever I open it up it always looks packed, it always looks overwhelming and I also feel that way when I'm putting away things like laundry and things like that. Everything just feels packed to the brim despite having decluttered and gone through a lot of my stuff. So I think a capsule wardrobe is a great way to explore what you already have, to figure out your personal style, to augment and elevate your personal style and have it evolve a little bit more as you go. So I've done a lot of research and at the same time I'm kind of winging this. So we'll see how this goes. So if you wanna see my 40 piece capsule wardrobe, keep on watching. Okay, so if you watched my closet declutter, then you know what this looks like. I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff maybe about a month ago and I shoved it all back into my closet and into my drawers. So I kept everything that I wanted to keep. So I kind of have a sense of what I still love, um, what my style is, things like that. So now I'm just going to take everything out and winterize my wardrobe. My goal here is to really condense my wardrobe into the capsule, into the capsule that I want to be wearing for the next three months and put away all the excess, the excess noise, the excess chaos, all the other stuff that doesn't make sense for me to be wearing right now. Um, that is not currently seasonal. All the other stuff that's just in the way, I want that out so I'm not visually seeing it and it's not creating more clutter in my mind. This is the same way that I would approach a declutter and in my opinion, I think what I'm finding so far is creating capsule wardrobe. I think you should start with a declutter, try to do that. I'm gonna be decluttering as I go here a little bit um, because I know that there's even some pieces in here that I kept in my declutter but probably need to get a little bit more real with. So let's go. I have such a stupid amount of clothes that is actually bananas. And I thought I decluttered really well, and no, not really. The amount of clothes I have is absolutely nuts. I also don't have a very good storage solution. I think I'm gonna, everything I want in my capsule, I'm going to have hanging up so I can see it and have it in its own little section, and then I'll have to figure out the storage solution after the fact, because um, stuff is gonna end up all over the place. I have a storage locker in my apartment. Um, I've seen people like the Anna edit. Um, she puts her stuff away like in suitcases and puts it away in storage. I have some under the bed storage. I have the tickle trunk. I have my dresser. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. This is hard. It's not that easy. I spent a lot of time searching on Pinterest some suggestions and breakdowns of what should be in a particular capsule wardrobe. So I hope I'm not butchering her name, Sinya from Use Less. 
She is an amazing content creator here on YouTube and she does, she focuses and specializes in a lot of sustainable clothing, capsule wardrobe, things like that. And for me, she's been a massive source of inspiration and guidance in, t in creating this capsule wardrobe. She is a pro at it, she's an expert. She has so much stuff on her blog and on her Pinterest um, and has a lot of great guides explaining how to build your own. So I'm using her guide. I'm here on Pinterest right now. This is off of her Pinterest. This is one of her capsule wardrobe guides. And for me, I really like this guide. I will link it down below because I find her style and my style are very similar. We're gonna build it up. I'm gonna use this as a guideline. Um, some things I'm going to swap out because I need a little, I need some more warmer pieces for a Canadian winter. And the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm not going to count any athletic wear or lounge wear. Um, or accessories in my capsule. I don't know, to me they don't really count. So do you, do whatever works for you. And I can already tell that this is just a starting point for me. If you watched my 10 by 10, when I stuck to the rules very rigidly, I kind of got sad and upset and a lot of you even commented on that. So um, this is gonna be a starting point, but if I wanna switch things out, change things up over the next couple of months, I'm going to do that because the point of this for me is to get use and wear out of the clothes that I already have and sort of surprise myself in terms of figuring out and defining my style a little bit more and just seeing how versatile I can get in my wardrobe. I'll probably go over 40 items in the initial and then I'm gonna go through everything again and decide what I want to keep and what I want to maybe store away for another capsule. I think I did it. I counted a total of 43 items, including shoes, not including hats, mittens, gloves, things like that, and not including my very super winterized snow boots because those for me are like a to and from only type of boot. They're not something that I would wear as part of an outfit per se. So I'll go through each piece and why I included it really quickly, but not a bad first try. Um, the first two pieces, I included are my wool coat from Aritzia. I got this last year. It's a really long oversized wool coat and it's quite warm. I had my other one, the more toffee colored one in my 10 by 10, but I wanted to get more wear out of this one. So I'm going to throw that in. And then just for variety, I have this Everlane men's wool coat. This was sent to me and my boyfriend and I are sharing it right now, but I really enjoy the way it looks. I like how oversized it is. It's quite warm and it's a really nice neutral charcoal color, which I really like and will layer nicely on top of a lot of these colors. I stuck to a very neutral color palette because that's just what I gravitate towards naturally and they're very easy to mix and match. Piece number three is my Norden parka. You've seen this a few times and it was in my winter essentials video. This I did count, but it's going to be my very cold day outerwear. And if it's extremely cold, then I have my Canada goose that you also saw in my winter essentials. So I am going to probably swap things out weather pending, but that's fine by me. I learned in my 10 by 10 that you don't have to exactly stick to it. This is a guideline and it's a great place to start and it's a great place to challenge yourself to see how much wear and how many outfits you can get out of seemingly a few pieces, but it's actually probably a lot more than even I need. Four, five, six, and seven. I chose four different sweaters. A lot of these are a wool cashmere blend. They are from Aritzia. They will layer nicely over top of a lot of these things. This is a nice brown neutral color. I really like this. Sweater. I wore it on Instagram and I got this a couple of years ago. I can insert a picture here. So a nice brown. This was in my 10 by 10, a nice black turtleneck that I need to lint roll, but nice chunky knit. Black goes with everything. I love gray and I love this cashmere oversized sweater from Aritzia. It's really warm, perfect for winter, and I love wearing this. And then this, is a cropped cashmere hoodie also 
from Aritzia. I really like this more formally and uh, as a dress down piece, but it's really warm and I love it under blazers, under moto jackets, things like that. I've definitely worn this to work. It keeps me warm and I feel cool and casual in it, so that's going in. Piece number eight is this white button up from Tradlands. It will go with a lot. It looks really cool in menswear and, and like your boyfriend's button down. Um, I haven't really gotten a lot of wear out of this, which is why I wanted to throw it in there because it's a nice basic piece um, and will go with a lot and I want to wear it. Nine and 10, I included two thin sweatshirts or sweaters, I don't even know what these are. They're thinner than the chunky knit. These are both from Everlane. This is the lantern sweater from Everlane and then I think this is, I forget what this is called. I think it's just the cashmere sweatshirt, but I like this color. I think it'll go with a lot in the wardrobe and I just like it with, with jeans. I think it looks really nice. It's a little bit more fall, but I really like it. This one I might swap out, I'm not quite sure yet, but I wanted some thinner long sleeve pieces in there. 11, 12, 13, just some more long sleeve basic tops. This is the bodysuit from Everlane that I actually didn't end up wearing in my 10 by 10, but I still really love it. It looks really cool on its own and layered under pieces. Um, so that is definitely going in there. This is the mock neck crew from Everlane. The one thing I will say about this is it is a little bit see-through, but it's a really nice layering piece. It looks really good. It has like that retro kind of mock neck, which I really like. It'll be a nice layering piece to be hidden and on its own. Just be sure to wear a nude bra with it or everyone's gonna see it. This is like a flowy mock neck that I got from Aritzia a few years ago and I find in the winter I do reach for it quite often. It looks really nice, it tucks really nicely into things that's a little bit more loose and less bodycon than the bodysuit is and I just know I reach for this a lot so that's why I included it. And then this is my coffee shirt because coffee. Items 15 through 20 are all of the t-shirts that I have decided to incorporate. I've got one gray t-shirt from Kitten Ace. This one I wear quite a lot. It's really nice and oversized. Um, I wear it as loungewear and as just a layering piece. I don't have any gray, other gray t-shirts besides this, so I wanted it in there. I whittled down my t-shirts to my 1920 New York and my Everlane oversized t-shirt. I figured I didn't really need that many more. I've got one basic black t-shirt. I really like this t-shirt, so, and it's a little bit of a nicer black than my group one, and I already included the group one in a capsule wardrobe, so I'm gonna now include this one. And then I've got two graphic tees, both are from Anina Bing. One is a vintage gray black one, and one is a white one, so I think that will incorporate well in the wardrobe. Piece 21 is this blouse from Rouge that I got for my birthday a few years ago. I've been afraid to wear it and I want to wear it, so it's going in the capsule wardrobe. It's my one fancy top that I think actually will pair really nicely with a lot of dress pants and a lot of jeans, blazers, moto jackets, things that I wear all the time. I think it'll push my style a little more. It's very much my style, but I'm, I've always been afraid to wear it because it was a gift, but I think it's time. 22 and 23 are some sweatshirts. This is the Cobain sweatshirt from Little High, Little Low. This to me can be an elevated grungy basic and something that you can dress down with. I really love the color. It's a little bit of a departure from everything else that I chose to put in the capsule wardrobe, but out of all the sweaters and things I have from Little High, Little Low, this is probably my favorite. And then I have this sweatshirt from 1920 New York again. It is a little less distressed than my other sweatshirts from Little High, Little Low. I have another black sweatshirt from them. That one is a little more grungy, more distressed, and I think I can't quite get away with wearing it to work, so I decided to include this one. It's a little bit more formal, I guess, 
um, and more versatile that way because I have to keep my work wardrobe in mind in addition to my weekend and casual wear. 24, 25, 26 are my blazers. Oversized blazer from Everlane. Gotta have a black blazer in there. This blazer is not going away. It's the Margot blazer from Aritzia. I wanted to challenge myself to wear it and I'm gonna wear it. And then this is a fishbone, herringbone, thicker wool blazer from Anina Bing. This one is meant more for winter wear and I don't get as much wear out of it as I want to, but it is so beautiful and so cool. So that's going in. 27 is my Zara Moto jacket. I've been getting a ton of wear out of this and I love it. Still in great shape. Definitely getting my 30 wears out of it. I feel at home in a moto jacket, so that had to be in my capsule. Number 28 is this dress from Aritzia. It has a scandalous slit here. It's more long sleeve, which I really like, and I think a little more appropriate for winter time. We'll see if I actually get wear out of this. Number 29 is this boiler suit jumpsuit from a brand called Tradlands. I worked with them in the fall and they sent me this as part of their collaboration. I love this jumpsuit. It's short sleeve, so it's more meant for winter time, but I wanna to try to winterize it with layering pieces like the bodysuit or some of my long sleeve t-shirts that I decided to include in this. I think with proper layering, this will still be a really cool piece that I can take into the winter. The fabric is a little more thick and durable, and I don't wanna wait until spring to wear it again. I think it's just too cool. 30 to 34 are my dress pants. I've got a black pair, a navy blue pair, the camel ones from my 10 by 10, a more casual black pair, and my charcoal gray joggers from the 10 by 10. I spend most of my week at work, so I needed a lot of variety in my dress pants. 36, I think this is 36. It's just a pair of joggers from Lululemon. I did say I wasn't going to include loungewear or activewear, but these to me are kind of like a to and from more everyday kind of jogger, and I've worn these a lot to work actually, so I, was, I wanted to include them as an actual part of my capsule not necessarily as something that I would work out in or lays around the house in. So I actually would wear these to work, which is why they're included. Now I miscounted. This is 36, 37, 38. Um, I've got three pairs of jeans. One is just a nice pair without any holes or without any fray bottoms from Everlane. You saw those in my 10 by 10. I've got a pair of raw hem Levi 501s that I don't wear enough of, so I want to wear them more. And I like the light wash of the denim. And then I've got the boot cut high rise skinny jeans from Everlane in black. Jeans, again, are more of a weekend slash going out wear, so I think this is more than enough. 39 and 40, I've got my Blundstones. You know all about those. These are new to my wardrobe, but they're my Doc Martens. I love them. I think they go with everything. They are super cool and versatile. I feel like I can get away with these at work, on the weekend, with athletic wear, with more fancy wear. They're so cool. I had to include them. 41 are my Tread by Everlane sneakers. These were in my 10 by 10. And 42, we've got just some fancier black booties. These will be more of my formal wear booties. They go with a lot. Black is definitely more versatile to me than like a snakeskin or a brown boot, and that's where I went wrong in my 10 by 10. So I decided to include my fancier black boots. These are really old from Zara. They're like six or seven years old. They held up. Definitely not a snow boot, but they're a really good from the car to the event kind of boot. So that's it. So that is my very first winter capsule wardrobe for you guys. A little over 40 pieces. I think I counted 42 or 43 in there by the end of everything. I am not counting lounge wear or athletic wear in this. And I will be iterating this as I go, I am sure. In the next video, I will show you a bunch of different outfits that I have come up with using this capsule wardrobe. And then the next thing I need to figure out is my storage solution for all of my summer slash non-winter 
kind of stuff because I like how this looks. It looks a lot more calm and less cluttered to me. There is a lot of variety, but not too much where I feel overwhelmed. And I feel like I can do something with this. So this was actually a very long and daunting experience at the beginning, but the more I started to put things on hangers and figure it out, um, it became a little easier and a little more clear to me. I don't think this is exactly what my capsule wardrobe is going to look like at the end of the next couple of months because I have a lot of clothes and I want to rediscover a lot of the things as I go. I think I might even sprinkle in a 10 by 10 challenge in the middle of this just to shake things up a little bit. But basically I am on my way to exploring my wardrobe to rediscovering pieces that I loved and actually getting wear out of them. That's the whole point of this. That's the point of this challenge. So let me know if you've ever done a 30 to 40 piece capsule wardrobe and let me know any tips down below in the comments that you think might help me or might help anybody else trying to figure out how to get started in their own capsule wardrobe. If you like this video and want to see more, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I would love to see you back and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.